my name is Rich Harrington, and I'd like to show you an alternative workflow for organizing images before you import. In this case, I'm going to take advantage of the Quick Edit command. File, Open Images for Quick Edit. Normally, you'd use this command to bring in a few images at a time, but you can actually select a whole bunch of images on a memory card if you'd like to bring them all in with one click. In this case, I've sorted by the kind and I've selected all of the raw images on this memory card. Now, I prefer to leave the card locked so I don't actually move any images off the card, but I can click open and they all open into the new quick edit collection. You see by default, it goes into edit mode with the film strip and the images are loaded. But I can actually click to go up a level and now I'm in an organization view. Let's choose edit deselect all so no images are active. Now what I can do is easily select the images that I want to work with. In this case I was doing some HDR photography for a climbing center but I want to move forward and just take a few selects from the outdoors. Let's go ahead and select these images and I'll select all the basics as well as some of the traditional HDRs and I'm going to mark those with picks and you see they become active and that marks them as favorites for now. Or we could press U for unmarked and you see they become deselected. But in any case, this is a quick and easy way. So there are my selected images. Now, for example, I could switch to showing the unmarked images and all the other images are there in quick edit. Now, Quick Edit normally stores other images that you might have worked with. So if you've got a short collection, you can go ahead and keep those. Let's grab a few of these macro shots as well. I'll press P to mark those as picked and they're removed from the unmarked collection. The rest of these, I'll just press select all and the delete key. Deleting images from the Quick Edit collection does not delete them from your disk. It just removes them from the collection. Now we can take a look here at all of the ones that are currently marked as favorites. It's a piece of cake to adjust these and start to check the images out. For example, if I press the space bar, I can go in to edit the image. And now it's easy to just start to take advantage of ratings. Five stars. And these are all pretty similar. I'll take one more of these. Let's go ahead up a level, navigate down a little bit, and I think I like this alternative white balance as an option. We'll avoid the brackets for now. I'll work with those at a later date, but let's check some of these. With the spacebar pressed, it's easy to navigate and look for sharp focus. I think some of these earlier ones looked great, so let's mark a couple. There we go. And the rest, I don't really need right now. So when we go up a level, we can apply a different sorting criteria. For example, just the five star images. And now I've narrowed this down to a much smaller subset that I want to bring in. At this point, I would recommend making a new subfolder here within your library, or you can click the plus button here to add it. And let's just call this Great Falls. We'll rename the folder. There we are. And I can go back up here to Quick Edits, select all of those images that I want to now add to my library and just drag them down. The images will copy and they are instantly added to the folder. That works great. Now I've got those stored in my library and ready to use. Now, this is a nice and simple workflow and it just allows you to really dial in and grab the images that you want. In any case, it's an alternative to importing everything and then having to remove them. 